Iowa football landing a five-star kicker for its 2024 class, bringing him in as a preferred walk-on. Typical procedure for Iowa and special teams, specifically punters and kickers. And for the most part, it has paid off. We'll talk about Trip Woody, the latest addition to the group of walk-ons scheduled to arrive in Iowa City in 2024. But first, before we get to the commitment news, I want to give a special thank you to Ascent Nutrition. They are sponsoring the show and sponsoring many of these smaller segments throughout the year, talking about Hawkeye recruiting, football, basketball, women's basketball, and the like. How about their new agaricon mushroom? The military and government's research into this agaricon mushroom has shown how its rare compounds exert strong biological activity. As you can see on the screen, also their lion's mane mushroom is now available on their website as well. It's been shown to support brain health, memory, a healthy stress response, overall immune system health. You can mix these powders into almost anything. Yogurt, smoothies, juices, very easy. You don't really taste anything. It's great stuff, folks, and great compounds, great benefits for your body. And uh, boy, so many links to the mushroom products out there with agaricon and lion's mane mushroom and just natural uh, biological benefits that your body needs. So again, read all about these benefits at goascentnutrition.com. And if you use the code Hawkeyes, you'll get 15% off your total order. Also want to thank Iowa Floor Covering. They are also sponsoring our show. And uh, whether we're talking about tile showers, maybe it's carpet or just tile flooring, they can help you with whatever your flooring needs are, direct you in the right place. I, I know I just personally really appreciate having somebody I can trust, somebody who understands an industry better than I do especially if you're going through a remodel where you're going to be spending some money and making some changes to your home, furnishing your home, whatever the case may be, just call Ryan, call Tyler and uh, give them an opportunity. 515-379-7000 or visit iowafloorcovering.com and let them know that Corey over at From the Hawkeye of the Storm sent you and they can lead you in the right direction. Iowa Floor Covering down in Bondurant. So the Hawkeyes landing five-star kicker trip Woody out of North Carolina, considered a top two or three prospect in the state and i know earlier in the year it looked i found some rankings for special teams players where he was considered to be a top 25 national kicker also has handled punting duties down in charlotte where he's from and uh, for the most part he's been really good averaged about 40 yards per punt which isn't a great average i don't have anything to compare that to really i'm not really in tune with high school numbers i know he didn't kick a lot of field goals this past season what i read was 10 of 14 on field goals, and I think 41 of 44 on PATs. Those are pretty good numbers. I'll give you a quick background. His private coach is Dan Orner, who also coached current Iowa kicker Drew Stevens. He coached former Iowa kicker uh, Keith Duncan. So connections there, and of course, from the same neck of the woods down in uh, the Carolinas. He had offers or interest, I shouldn't say offers, interest from the likes of Michigan State, Rutgers, Duke, North Carolina State, and others. This is according to Elliot Clough. Our friend over at Go Iowa Awesome, uh, the Ri- Iowa Rivals site. He is a Waxhaw, North Carolina native. He's attended Charlotte Christian High School uh, down in North Carolina. And uh, according to his interview with uh, Elliot, he just has raved about Iowa. And I'm sure he was given an endorsement from people like Drew Stevens and people like Keith Duncan. Sounds like Marshall Meter will be moving on. That's what it sounds like. And, uh, We'll see if an announcement comes on that, but um, we can see why I was adding another kicker here in 2024. Iowa was in on Drew Stevens' younger brother, Jack. He has since committed to South Dakota State. Now, he's being given a full-ride scholarship, and that's just not typically something Iowa does. They didn't even do that with Drew Stevens, who I know he struggled last couple games. He's played not Michigan because he didn't get a chance to really shine against Michigan, but against Nebraska. Meter came in and ended up kicking, finishing the game uh, on that day. But for the most part, Drew Stevens has been a great get and Iowa didn't even give him a scholarship right off the bat so um, you know we understand there's kind of logistics and I don't want to say politics involved with all this but it sounds like Jack Stevens is headed to South Dakota State I would assume that if someone like Jack who Iowa has been recruiting were to get an offer from an Iowa or from a power five who'd certainly consider that but a lot of power fives are just not going to extend an offer right off the bat I don't think the financial aspect of this whole situation is much of a problem for Trip Woody sounds like his family uh, is going to be sending him to Iowa and they I don't think money is too much of an object I don't want to speak out of turn there but it sounds like uh, he's just fine coming to Iowa starting out as a preferred walk-on but he will be behind Drew Stevens for a while I don't think he's going to come in here next year and win the job all right I do think Drew Stevens is still the future 
And uh, whoever comes in here, whether it's you know Jack Stevens or a guy like a uh, Trip Woody, they're going to have to bide their time and earn uh, their way at Iowa. Now, Chris Saylor, who's a, a kicking expert, he's got ChrisSaylorKicking.com, wrote a player review on Trip. He says Trip is a fantastic high school kicking prospect, great looking athlete with a strong leg. Trip does an outstanding job on field goal, a strength. He hits a pure accurate ball off the ground, gets the ball up and has 55 yard plus range. His kickoffs are strong. Trip drives the ball into the end zone with a four plus second hang time. Also a more than capable punter, a competitor who kicks with big confidence. His college future is bright with continued hard work. He's a fine young man with a great attitude and work ethic. One of the hardest workers out there, strong prospect offer now great addition for Iowa. So there you go. Um, you know, maybe uh, some bias there. I don't know a whole lot about Chris Saylor to be quite honest, but I know, um, he has player rankings on his website, and he's well known in the special teams industry. And uh, Trip Woody sounds like has a, a pretty good leg, and will only get better. And again, he'll have to earn his way at Iowa. So congratulations to Trip Woody and his family. He'll be moving up to a colder weather to kick, just like uh, uh, his uh, comrade uh, Drew Stevens and. Keith Duncan both had to do, but uh, both those guys have been successful at Iowa. Lots coming from the transfer portal. A lot has happened in the transfer portal. We've had so many post-game shows and stuff going on. Haven't really addressed those on this show. We'll be addressing those soon, and uh, we'll just keep uh, rattling off, rattling home here in the final stretch of the football season. we got the bowl game ahead. We'll talk about the Citrus Bowl with Don Patterson here coming up. I've also got a live show with Brad Heinrichs of the Swarm coming up on Friday. Stay tuned. Lots to come here from the Hawkeye of the Storm.